Let's talk about the description portion of your listing. I don't want you to look at this section and get overwhelmed. I think a lot of times people, when they're making their listings, they'll look at other people's properties and see that they have listings that are well thought out and long. Really don't worry about that. One, they're very easy to write. And two, in my opinion, they are the third most important thing on your listing. And there aren't that many things on your listing to begin with. Number one thing for someone who's booking are your photos, followed by your reviews. Don't sweat it. It's not particularly hard. You know, this is something that I don't think should take you longer than 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, it's also something that you can write kind of in a, a modular sense, meaning that you can write one paragraph, use that as your description, and come back when you thought of something to add and then add another paragraph and add another and another until you have something that is, is somewhat comprehensive. Don't shy away from writing a long description. Um, the longer, really, the better. I mean, they don't really put any limit on how much information you can put. So this is your time to explain why your space is good, why it's great, and why everyone should come. So we should really take this opportunity to be enthusiastic about your space. Don't be matter-of-factual. Don't just say, you know, this is what it is, this is what it is, period. Also, you know, I typically say shy away from being outright negative in your descriptions. That seems obvious, but I think what I'm talking about more so are situations where, you know, they write a paragraph and then the second paragraph, they start talking about the things you can't do. You can't use the kitchen. Please don't smoke. Things like that. It, it seems odd when the second paragraph, you've already run out of nice things to say about your space. The best advice I can give you from when you're writing your description, and this is what I did, was copy other people. It's as simple as that. You know, you don't even have to do this with other properties in your area. You can do it from other cities or other states. Pick popular properties who you think have done a good job in the description and use their format. You can quite literally copy and paste their description and then just use that as a template. First sentence, it appears that they open up with a kind of a zingy one-liner that tries to bring out something interesting about the city itself and not the space. Or they try to cram in as many adjectives. It's a cozy, comfortable, and quaint room. And, they, and it's in this place with warm and fuzzy adjectives. People do very good jobs of this, of making their descriptions. See what they do, see what they mention, and then convert it for what you're doing. So, you know, if someone says, I live five minutes from this place or five minutes from this place, you can do the same exact thing in the same exact format. Just say you're five minutes from something that you are actually five minutes from. Don't obviously just copy and paste. That wouldn't work. But just generally look at the format that they use. And, and honestly, that's how I used it. I first tried to write it, and I was just kind of clueless. And then I started looking at how other people were doing it. And I just found someone. I said, oh, I like how they do it. And there's another section on here I talk a little bit about how you should try to create a rambling text in the sense that you'll keep running with the, and here's another thing, and here's another thing, and here's another thing in terms of your bullet points for why you should be interested in this space. More on that later. So I brought up my description for my space, and what we can do is we can just actually just go through this, and I can read it out loud um, and tell you kind of what I was thinking and why I kind of wrote it that way. Airbnb has changed recently, so they, they change it now. So you're actually putting smaller descriptions in subheaders. So they have a header called like the space, and they'll have a header, guest access, interaction with guests, 